Tuesday, all of the new capabilities it's adding to its voice assistant, including various additions to the way it handles privacy. One of the assistant's new privacy features will allow users to delete a record of the most recent command by saying, that wasn't for you. Hmm. This means users can delete voice recordings immediately if someone else starts a separate conversation in the background or if the user decides that what was said should not be shared. Users can also ask, are you saving my audio data to learn more about their privacy controls and to go directly to the settings screen to change their preferences, as well as delete voice assistant activity from a Google account by saying things like, quote, delete everything I said to you this week. Hmm. The assistant has had a fair share of privacy concerns with Google confirming in August that third party workers were systematically listening, systematically listening, and leaking private Dutch conversations collected by the assistant. It had been revealed that more than 1,000 files had been leaked from these workers, including recordings from instances where users accidentally triggered Google software. After the incident, Google paused all of its language review operations. These new privacy features come not too long after Google decided to revamp its assistant privacy policy last year. The changes from last year included Google making it default for the voice assistant to not retain audio recordings once a request is fulfilled, meaning that users have to opt in to let Google keep any voice recordings made by the device. It also added a feature that allows users to review and delete past historical audio recordings. Besides the security enhancements, other additions to the assistant announced by Google on Tuesday include the ability to schedule certain tasks. For example, users that have a Google Home integrated washer or dryer can schedule a load of laundry with the assistant. This feature is set to be rolled out later this year. Google has added support for various new smart device categories such as AC units, coffee makers, vacuums, and smart bathtubs, among others. I would love for my device to be able to make me a coffee. Oh, yeah. And bring it to me. <laughs> right. I would like to be able to run a bath. I don't know the about the bath thing, and I don't know about the anything with water. Bath and laundry, I think I'm against. I'm not against that. Um, I, I think it would be cool. I know that my neighbor down the street has one of the new like washer and dryer in one machine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right? So if you put a load of water wash in um but you know that you're going to be home from work at a certain time and yes. you want that stuff to be not wrinkly just sitting there then you could like tap mm. on into your home see i'm the guy who has had pipes break and had right things like that happen so for me it's like i monitor things like i check on the laundry while it's happening right i right. check on the la uh, the dishwasher while it's happening i don't run them when i'm not home I super trust my mm, yeah. everything. Uh, my dad had it happen where the laundry machine started spraying water all over and they didn't know. Yeah. And it just destroyed their basement. Yep. So it's just like, yeah, I'm not for that. But make me a coffee. Yeah, that'd be all right. And bring it to me. What I find interesting about this story is that it's Google. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the story. <Sorry. laughs> it's Google. And they're making changes toward users being able to control their privacy once again right but it's interesting that google kind of missed the boat on this initially i feel like google has kind of always been ahead of the game when it comes to that respect for privacy because they've kind of been the front runner mm -hmm. um so the fact that they're trying to play catch up now and the fact that there was audio breaches where conversations mm -hmm. were being shared I'm, I'm going wow google come on yeah but I mean, it's good to see that they're making these changes, yes. mm -hmm. you know, but Just it's like all of us, like everybody's learning, right? Including Google, obviously. This, right. this is why I don't let anyone else do anything. And I do. I'm terrible at delegating because I'm, I'm afraid of someone making mistakes. And, and so they've hired a third party company or maybe they had staff that was doing this job and that staff leaked the information. Yep. Yes. That was meant to be internal. Like we need to improve our product. Now I have 
an Amazon device at home. Mm -hmm. Ditto. So these features like that wasn't meant for you and stuff. Mm -hmm. Are there equivalents on the Amazon devices? I'm seeing very similar kinds of enhancements happening okay. on Amazon. And, you know, I've talked about it before, but uh, the Amazon Echo, I have mine set in the app to make a uh, tone anytime it hears yes. its activity yep. word. And so sometimes you'll hear me if uh, if it goes off here, I just say cancel. So in the middle of a, a conversation, somebody says the, the action word by accident, and I hear delete. And I say cancel it, and it just, now it comes naturally. So, right. uh, and I wish sometimes it would work in real life conversations with humans. I convinced our kids <laughs> that ours is now cancel gecko. Yes. You can change your, what? No, no because, Oh, because we chose echo yeah. as the, as the name. Oh, but because you've it got sounds. gecko, I convinced my kids to call it gecko. Nice. I'm like, guys, I changed the name to gecko. So they're like, Gecko. That's cool. <laughs> it's it's That's a good idea. <laughs> it's fun. I like yeah. that. Totally unrelated to the story. But. Yeah. <laughs>